Good morning and welcome back to another challenge, um, the alphabet challenge. Uh, I believe we are on letter K and I didn't know what to do for letter K. So um, I think the other girls did keepsake. Miss Gail did kitchen and I was like, um, I don't think I could do any of those. So I decided to come up with something different. And so I decided I have glue on my speaker is what I'm playing with. Anyway, um, I decided to do key. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some tags, but I'm going to be using, um, the keys. So I don't know if that counts. Um, I have no idea, but I had a hard time trying to think of this. I thought about it all last night. I even did words that start with K and you know, it like did this whole list of one, two, three, four, five, you know, all kinds of different lettered words that start with K. And I was like, oh my goodness gracious, there was kitten. I was like, oh, that would be super cute. I don't really have a lot of kitten stuff. So that wouldn't work. Um, kitchen would work because I have a lot of like recipe stuff, but that's really all I have is recipe stuff. Like I have a lot of cookbooks and that's about it. I don't really have like ephemera or um, embellishments or anything that have to do with the kitchen other than just the recipes. So I hope key counts. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think that there's like official rules or anything with this. Um, I'm just going to grab three tags here and um, we're going to, we're going to start with those. Um, I do have a variety of keys to play with. Where? Uh, I should probably not have taken those out of the bag, but I have a variety of keys to play with. Ah. So I figured that would be a good one to do because <laughs> I have that. Because, I mean, I don't think the goal of this challenge is to go out and buy new stuff. I mean, by all means, if that's what you want to do, for sure. But I don't think that's the goal. I think the goal is just to, like, kind of get you thinking about using the stuff that you have. Or just kind of get your mind going and being creative and whatnot. So, I think, I think that's what it's about. Um, so, I have my doilies. I have my little jar of snippet thingy my bobs. Um, I have my pre-made embellishments that will help accent the piece. So I guess we shall just go ahead and get started. Um, let's try that again. It's not recognizing my face. No! That's all right. Oh, I need to plug my phone in. My phone is gonna die. Let me do that right quick. Ow. I just scratched my finger with my nails. All right, so we'll go ahead and start 30 minutes as per usual and we're just gonna pick one. I think I want a solid background on all of them. Or full background, rather. I think it's a better, better terminology. All right, so these might be a little wide. They are, but I do have some that are narrower, like that. Um, I like the hearts because then you can add. Um, pieces. See like there's one that says I love you. Add that right there. Into that. Alright, let's see what kind of laces we have. I still haven't. I think I'm probably just going to use this instead of trying to inventory it because I've, I've caught up primarily on my shop. So now it's just going to be, you know, extra stuff that I find around the house. 
like D stash items type thing. Which is not a bad thing because I, I seem to have a lot of stuff. I don't know about y'all, but I have definitely accumulated a lot over the years. Alright, put that down. Alright, grab my scissors. Wherever they may have went. And cut that off. Alright, hold that. Let's see what else we have over there that will complement this. I think I want to go ahead and put this down so it'll have time to dry. I've seen people using these icing bottles for the FiberTac. I wonder if it'll work on the E6000 too. I don't know. Be interesting to find out though. Alright, so we'll just set that down there. And then grab some extra little pieces. ended up working out really well. So we're going to put a little anchor down here. And I don't know if that's the right terminology or not. I just know it's essentially what I'm doing is I'm just putting just a dab of glue so I can anchor it in, in place so it makes it easier to glue and I don't have to worry about it moving all about. So how are you guys doing? What have y'all been up to? Are y'all enjoying this alphabet challenge? I know I'm having fun. It is definitely interesting because some of the letters come pretty easy to me and then some of the letters are like, um, yeah, I don't, I don't have a clue. Like, I'm like, okay. I was like, oh, what do I do with that? I like that. And then that right there. Really like that. Let me trim this up here. Probably should have eaten something before I started these videos. Um, I'm doing another day of recording because I actually have free time. This is it's Sunday today. You'll see this tomorrow on Monday, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do another batch of recording while I have time because during the week it's a little rough to try to um that's super cute that's the wrong color um during the week it's a little rough for me to try to record while um you know doing schoolwork and such because I have to schoolwork with the kids oh that's pretty I like that all right so we'll do this one Maybe on this side. I like that. All right, we're going to bring it in just a little bit. I'm going to do a little bit at a time with this because it's um, a ruffled lace. So I don't want it to like get all out of alignment or touching itself and then get glue all over the place.
<laughs> glue strings. And that's what happens when you play with hot glue. You get glue strings. All right. So there's that one. Let's see. That is not straight. Let's try that again. When I cut, I seem to always need to have the paper to be on this side of the scissors versus this side. Do y'all do that? Or is that just like a weird thing I do? I don't know. You never know about things like that. Let's see, I like that. That's super cute. And I love the little chicken. Isn't he cute? He's adorable. All right, let's find a key that goes with this. Um, oh, that one's cute. And it's big too. Let's see. Um, herm, herm, herm. Oh, that one's cute. That looks more like a wand than a key, but it's cute. Oh, I like this one. And it's hearts. So it'll go with the heart. All right. So I want to kind of put it down here away from the, the chicky chick. So let's add a little bit here. Move it down just a little bit. My kids are doing something with the silverware. I don't know if y'all can hear that. I've probably eaten a snack or lunch or something. Because it's, it's 11 o'clock and we normally don't eat lunch until 12. Um, we do have a little bit of a schedule with the lunch just because it makes schooling a little bit easier. That way they know, you know, it's, it's break time, whatnot. Pretty excited, proud of my kids. They're about halfway done with their current assignments. Well, Porter is. And then he'll be starting his next set of assignments. I just can't believe he's about halfway done. I mean, I'm just like, whoa. Oh, it just went by so quick. I feel like I talk about my kids a lot. I don't suppose that's a bad thing. You're a proud mommy, right? All right, let's do a 6,000 on this boy. Put one in the middle there and then down there. and then twist it all about. All right, there we go. Oh, I like that. I'd like it better if it was straight. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that is so cool. So we're going to set that aside and let that dry. Um, let's put them on top of each other. It's still technically morning time, so I'm drinking my monster tea. I love these things. Um, 
but you definitely have to counterbalance it with a lot of water. Um, or at least I do. So I normally drink on, you know, throughout the morning and then towards the afternoon, evening, I'm drinking primarily water. Oh no. I don't know that I really want to cover this up because this is so pretty. All right, what color do we want to do? Oh, this one's pretty. We can go right down the middle. And it doesn't completely cover up the design. Let's see if we can find a color that will match that. Ooh, that's nice. Ooh, and there's another nice big old heart. I like that, how it's underneath that one and then over the other ones. So let's put the key down. Now I've seen the super fine tip E6000s before. They're like for, um, I think they're advertised for jewelry making. But the, the tip, it seals up so quick. Does anybody have like any kind of suggestions on how to use or how to obtain a fine tip E6000? Because I don't know if I just wasn't doing it right or what. I'm going to actually clamp this. There we go. I'll just let that be for a minute. I can glue my fingers. So we're just going to go across the top here. No. And then, ooh, that'd be cute. I don't know if uh, once I glue the heart down, though, it may not. Because I was thinking it'd be cute to have like a little belly band right there in the tag. But once I glue the heart down, it'll close that up completely. So I'm just going to... You got stuck on my paper. I feel like this one's going by pretty quick too. I think some of the um, the quickness comes from having pre-made embellishments. And I mean, you can definitely have like a box full of pre-made embellishments because you can sit down one night or morning or day or whenever it is you do your crafting and just pre-make a bunch of embellishments ready to go. I used to do that. I haven't in a minute, but there's my insulation again. <laughs> I always end up getting hot glue on my fingers. But yeah, you could definitely do that. Um, make a bunch of ahead of time, you know, snippets or um, clusters or you know, whatnots. All right, let's see. I'm going to go there. Do I want anything else added to this? Oh, I like that. That up top. 
this is a big cube. Come here. This is hard to do with this clip. <laughs> Alright. I like that. Read this side. See, that's cute too. I like that. I like that a lot. All right, so I'm gonna flip this over, put some glue on my little flowers here, and then let it fall right back down. I might need another stick. And you could definitely like make this in the little pocket or whatever, like by leaving that part open. I think I did that on one of them. And then you could also <clears throat> you can also like just decorate the keys if you want. Or you could draw keys or you could print them or color them or all kinds of stuff with keys. I like that a lot. And then you could punch a hole right here and put your your doodly dad your I think we went through that super quick. Oh yeah, we still have 10 minutes left. Alright, so let's grab a seam binding. I'm going to let this sit for a second. And we're just going to do this one here. And this is just um, seam binding I got off of Etsy Hug Snug. I have like a whole bunch that I ordered from England, but I don't remember where I put them. <laughs> Isn't that great? Ordered all kinds of different colors and such, so I would have them have the different colors. And then I lost it. Actually, you know what? I've got some uh, eyelash trim I can put with this. <coughs> um, let's see. <clears throat> Oy. Let's move the doilies over here. Stay. And I've got some white. And I don't think that's going to go very well. That might go with this one or even this one better yet. 
I think that would go really well with that one. But not with that one. Or not with this one. I don't think with this one either. I think what I'll do is put it with Clement. Okay, fine. I'm just going to take you off. There we go. Alright, we'll do a double loop of eyelash trim here. And Cut the this part. There we go. Ooh, we could even braid it. That would be fun. Trying to braid this with one hand is interesting. Whee. Alright. That's cool, actually. I mean, it's not going to stay braided completely because I'm not sealing it or anything. Now let's try to put you through this hole. Right. Ah, that wasn't as bad as I thought. But if you had like different colors of seam binding and such, oh, that is so cool. I like that. Very neat. Um, I'll let that go. Let's pick up all these keys. I don't remember where I got these. These probably came from Amazon, to be honest with you. So I get a lot of stuff like this from Amazon. And I just, I don't know, I get bored. And so I just start looking around. I go to the Google and the Google sends me all over the place. Alright, so there's that one. And then we can just do the just the eyelash trim on this one. Let's say maybe that big. Yeah, we'll do that big. So we'll do two of those. And cut that. Alrighty. I like that too. It's really neat. Alright, and then this one, we're going to do this one here, which is kind of like a, like a smoky, dusky, greenish, bluish color. It's got a blue hue to it. That's really all that matters. <laughs> um, we're going to do this one. I'm going to just do one of those. We're going to do two of the smoky blue stuff. Alright. And this was something I got from, you know, second hand from someone. Um, you can actually get a lot of craft supplies second hand. Um, yard sales, stuff like that, uh, de-stash sales, you know, 
the shebang. Oh yeah, I have to cut this. Yep. Um, alright. So, this particular box of tools has to stay up there because uh, it's so heavy it warped my thing. It's finally starting to go back to where it was, but it did not like being on that bar. And I feel like my metal embellishments are, or it's not even all metal embellishments, they're just embellishments. But I feel like they are headed in that direction as well. So I gotta open up so I can see where my hole is. Let's try that one more time. be best not to cover it up with lace because <laughs> lace doesn't really like being punched through. Okay, I'm just going to set this aside for now. I'll do that in a minute. And I guess it just depends on the material of the lace because some laces will probably punch a little bit easier. I have no idea. I do not know materials like that. Go in the hole. have all of the pieces. There we go. That's cool. See, I think that matches really, really well. Oh, I like trim little pieces all over the place. Alright, um, so we can put that back in there. All of those. Beat up my jar with my ring. Sounds like a good plan. Put our little thingies back on our eyelash trim so they don't go all over the place. Fun furs, what this thing's labeled as. <gasps> Gosh, I forgot to stop the hammer. And obviously it scared me. <laughs> okay, so um, let's put this away. This away. Wait, how did I have this in here? It wasn't like that. Was it? Maybe it was. I have too many of these. We are memory keeper punches. They're so big. So this was the first one. Yeah, this turned out really cool. I like all of them. Just not keep them. And then this is the second one. There's our key. Oh, there's the key in the first one. 
And this one says, I love you. And then this is the key in the second one, or third one. Sorry, I forgot how to count. And our little topper. I thought those turned out really cool. So, um, that is it for the letter K. And I will see you guys back for the next letter in the next video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Y'all have a wonderful day. And I will see you all later. Bye.